<laughs> He's fucking a snoozing, my guy. This guy is snoozing right now, all right? He's fucking snoozing hard. I'm on a shirt break, though. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? I'm on a shirt break, though. What the fuck did you just say? No, fuck you. No, fuck you. Get up! Get the fuck up! All right, there. Come on! He's getting ready. What do you mean he's getting ready? I thought it already happened. His rash? Oh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> ah. 10, I thought it was nine. That's crazy. Yeah, you fucking asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, pussy. fuck you. Fuck you, pussy Fuck ass you. Ass. Whoa, ladies. If you sh want to show our brother Reed some love, go join into his live. See his battle that is coming up within the next couple minutes. And show Fuck him me. the Fuck love, that. baby! Fuck Reed. Fuck Reed. Coon's dead right now. No, seriously. Fuck Reed. He's incapacitated right no, now. No, he's fucking retarded. He's incapacitated right you now. You know you're retarded, bro. He's incapacitated. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. <laughs> Come, at me. <laughs> Come at me. Come at me respectfully. You're fucking dumb, bro. I'll bully you. I'll bully you. you stupid little teacher bitch. I'll fuck you up. I fucked that guy up, honestly, respectfully. <laughs> honestly, respectfully, he goes. No, I fucked that guy up. We made we made a lot of we made a lot of acquaint acquaintance. Oh, I fucked that guy What's up though. Acquaintances. I fucked that guy up. Acquaintances is what I was trying to say. I fucked that motherfucker. I don't care, bro. When, 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 when we went down to the bar today, and we were like, hey, we're going to make friends with the bartender. I don't give a We fuck. didn't think we'd actually make friends with the bartender, but we did. And he was a good guy. And he gave us a couple shots on the house. I'll kill them. And... We met some cool people on top of that. But! What a time. What a time. Always, Brandy. Always. It's a natural instinct. A natural instinct. You know what I mean? We have a mojito right here. That's mostly mint leaves, but it's very good. It's very good. This mojito, elite, absolutely elite. So good. Where are you? Uh, we're actually in Japan right now. We took a last minute flight down to Japan. We wanted to get a good culture shock and a culture shock is what we got for sure. We're in Japan right now. No, we're in Quebec. We're in Montreal. Montreal, Quebec. Potato, potato. Potato, potato, you know what I mean? Uh, Brandy, no, we were probably not supposed to take the glass with us, but that's not gonna stop us, you know what I mean? We don't give a fuck. We'll just take the glass and have a good time. And we'll figure out the rest later. Who gives a fuck? Who cares?
at the end of the day. Who cares? You know? Not us. Us for sure. Fucker! Damn guy declined my invitation. What a guy. Come on, Will. Accept it, you fuck. Accept it, you fuck. God damn. Why are you declining that shit, my boy? Don't decline that shit, my boy. Are you nuts? He's off live now? Are you fucking nuts? Don't decline that shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's wild. That's wild. Tosa is, oh fuck. I'm fucked up right now. I'm fucked up right now. Can we go Spoon Coon? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, uh huh. Uh huh, honey. <laughs> Forest? You think I'm drinking a forest? Yeah, true. I could see that. I could see what you mean there. <sighs> so good, though. It's so good. Where is this fuck? He's not even on live right now. Echo's not even on live right now. That's such a false sense of whatever the fuck it is you were trying to accomplish there. Echo is not there. Did you eat your dinner? I did. I did indeed. Yeah. Echo is not right now. He is not. He is? On what fucking account? On what account is he live? Because if he is live right now, you better tell that motherfucker to follow me and add me up. Because if he's not, that is fucking wild. That's wild. And he's like, at that point, at that point, and I'm just gonna say it because I don't give a fuck, you're running. You're running. If you go onto another account that we are not following, and you're going live steadily, you're fucking running. Don't worry. We will find you eventually. All right? We will find you. You can run, but you cannot hide. Okay? We will find you. And we will snipe you on any account that you make. All right? We will find you. And we will snipe you. All right? Fucker.
Come on, you fuck! No way he's live right now and I'm not following this goddamn motherfucker. No way. No way. The disrespect. That's wild. What account is he on right now? At that point, do we even do it? I don't even think we do it. We don't even put that fucking effort out there. You know what I mean? Fuck that. It's not even worth it. At that point, it's not even worth it. To watch them put up fucking 10k points, it's not even worth it. That's We might as well watch paint dry. We might as well watch paint dry than to battle Team Toy the Water. Straight up. They just don't have it. They do not have it. And they haven't had it in a minute. They're great. Don't get me wrong. They are great people. But when it comes to the juice, they can't compete. They cannot compete. You can run and you can hide. But we will not search for you. It's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. And if anybody from Team Toilet Water is in here, spread the message, okay? Spread the message. We will not run. We will not hunt for you. You can find us. When you want to fight, you can find us, okay? WGA is always here. We are always here. We don't run from fights. We take them head on and we snap necks like they are fucking twigs. We win battles. We win that shit, okay? We're not afraid. We don't back down. It is what it is. I talk my shit. It is what it is. How many wobbly pops have you had, Chachi? Oh, big pops. We've had we've had quite a few wobbly pops tonight for sure. We've had a few wobbly pops tonight. We've met some great people, great acquaintances. Quite a few wobbly pops. And now we're here. Now we're here talking our shit. But rightfully so, you know what I mean? We've earned the ground to talk our shit. I will confidently say that. We have earned the right to talk our shit. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. We've earned our right. Over the last two years, we have earned our damn right to talk our shit and speak the way that we speak. Because we've put in the work and the time. We have put in the work and the time over the last two years. So fuck them. We run this shit, all right? We run this shit. When we want to do it, we do it, all right? When we want to fucking do it, when we put our mindset on a specific night to run a specific goal or a target, whatever, we do that shit. No questions asked. Every single time we do that shit. We've been doing that shit, okay? We've been doing that. So. You know what I mean? WGA, we've, we've been doing it. It might be a newer thing to a lot of people, but we've been doing it since before leaderboards or rankings or gifting or any of that shit was even a thing we have been here okay we've been here so we've put in our time we've put in the work we've done everything that you could fucking do and we are still here two years later all right Talk all the shit you want. But we move proper. We move proper. WGA moves properly. We're legit. 
we are legit and we are still a fucking force to be reckoned with and i dare you to fuck with us because we fuck you up i guarantee it we will fuck you up any day of the week baby bring it the fuck on we will put you in the fucking dirt six feet fucking under we will fuck you up guaranteed garen fucking teed okay i don't give a fuck Fuck you. Fuck you. If you're not WGA, get the fuck out of the live. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You're with us or you're against us. And you don't want to be against us. Okay? We'll fuck you up. Any day, any night. We'll fuck you up. And I love it. I love it. Is past out, yeah. He's out cold. But I'm not lying, okay? I say it and I mean it. I appreciate and I embrace the challenges, but WGA is elite. And I dare you to fuck with us. I we just fuck around and we let you find out you know what i mean we fuck around and we let you find out and it's great to see it's such a humbling experience i love to see it i love to see it bianca that is very true and honestly fuck it fuck it Oh, I wish Echo was on live right now. Oh, is it Echo on or is it Elizabeth on? Is it Echo or Elizabeth on right now, ladies? Is it Echo or fucking Elizabeth? Let me know. If it's Echo, we're going at him. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. We're going at Echo. It's Echo? Oh, it is? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Ladies, bombard him. Let him know we want him. We want Echo. We want this fuck. We want this fuck, all right? Let this guy know. We want him. We want him. E-K-O-W. Echo. We want that fuck, all right? Come on! He knows. I don't give a fuck him. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, his invitation is off. He has his invites off. You know what that means? He's a fucking scared kitten tonight. Echo is one scared kitten tonight. If he has his invitations turned off, that's a bitch move. That's not even a... That's like... What a fuck. Who turns their invitations off? What a... Come on. Come on. Agamon. Agamon. A noise complaint? Fuck it. Bring it on. I don't even care. Coon's already sleeping. Let's talk about how adorable he was. Well, thank you very much, Amy. I appreciate that. He didn't last night. He didn't what? What didn't he do? How does Coon sleep? Oh, he's intoxicated, that's all. That's it, that's all. I am definitely intoxicated myself. For sure. A hundred percent. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. We are fucked up right now. Fucked up.
highlight tonight. You are a highlight tonight, man. Give a, a fill us in on some info. What's going on? What's up? Me and Jay Kroon, as you can see, this guy right here, right now. <laughs> is he knocked out? <laughs> we're uh, we're we're sitting in Montreal. We took a last second trip to Montreal and to Quebec, and uh, we're 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 feel like need, needless to say, we're feeling pretty good tonight. But like, this is all I gotta say. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Uh, that's. Definitely, I don't know what y'all did yesterday, but uh, <laughs> or was the trip was the trip long? Like, how long was the trip to Montreal, dude? So like, it was like an hour, an hour and fifteen minute drive to like the train station, and then from the train station to our final destination, it was like just under five hours. So it was about like a six and a half, seven hour journey, but like it was worth it. You know, like it it went by way quicker than like what you actually like experienced, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so I'm assuming you guys are just spending the weekend there? Yeah, exactly, we're, we're, uh, we're heading back on Sunday. So we, uh, we took a full advantage of the, uh, the first class train tickets and the drinks that came with that. And, uh, and tonight, we made friends with the bartender tonight at the, uh, the hotel bar <laughs> and uh, we're feeling pretty good, you know? <laughs> I love it, I love it, I absolutely love it. Is that your first time on like a long-term train ride? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a fun. What do you have planned for the weekend? Like, what are you doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Just exploring like the, uh, the town, the city. Yeah, pretty much. Like we don't, we don't have like anything like big, booked and like, you know what I mean? Like nothing like super solid planned. It's kind of just like playing it by ear and seeing what like people want to see and you know what I mean? Like just kind of plan it by that, but yeah, just go with the we, flow. Like real, realistically, we booked this trip without even having a place to stay. And then like an hour out from Montreal, we're like, okay, let's book a place. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was just a complete impulse and spontaneous decision. And we were just like, let's just do it. Yeah. And sometimes the fun is the funnest days are the days that are just not planned where you just go and you're like, eh, whatever happens, it happens. Let's just go. I don't really have any plans. We're just going see what happens. That's just it. That's just it, man. We need a reunion though, bro. We need a reunion. We do. We do. So buddy, Alex, I'm actually, I'm out in California now. I'm here. This is my first time I've ever been in my own place. I leased a, an apartment for a few months. And um, I started that a couple weeks ago and I'm here, you know, for a little bit. And uh, it's my first freaking real move. Like, the, this, you know, this is, I did this on my own. And um, yeah, I'm on the West Coast now. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a West Coast uh, guy uh, for a little bit. Look so. at this guy, eh? Look at this guy. Big moves, big moves. Yeah, so it's it's exciting. It's definitely a change of like, it's definitely a big change. Like going from like New York to Florida is one thing, but when you go across the country, it's just like California is different. It's just, they just built different over here. And like, um, it's going to be cool the next few months. Cause it's still going to be pretty like, you know, nice weather here. Cause like October and November is still beautiful here. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good experience. And we're going to be bringing this Phoenix crew all the way to the moon, baby. So all the way to the moon. That's it. That's it. That's all. Hundred percent, hundred percent, buddy. Good, Alex, man. So. Good for you, man. I'm happy for you. That's yeah. a that, that that's a big move for sure. Like, yep. that's that's good stuff, bro. I'm proud of you for that. Thank you so much. So, and you know what I realized? It's like, listen. I know we talk about this all the time, but just in case anybody needs to be remembered, man. Like, we only have one life. Like, it goes quick as heck. Listen, me and buddy Alex, we were in Florida a year and a half ago over a year and a half ago or something like that it just goes quick and you got to do what makes you happy you got to do what excites you got to do it and you enjoy you got to have that positive influence on the world you gotta you gotta and you gotta do what makes you happy so like you really gotta go for it because listen you don't want to regret i don't want to regret and so listen i you gotta make it happen you just gotta go for it and you'll be so glad that you did that's so true though man like i mean like I mean, you're a prime example of it. Kuhn and I are a prime example of it. It's like, hey, we had no idea what was going to happen. We just had like, you know, like a general idea of where we wanted to go, a goal, whatever. We quit our jobs. We did this. And then everything just kind of exponentially exploded from there. And it was like, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, you have a vision, you have a goal. 
go for it because it's like you never know what's going to happen. You literally, you don't know what's ever going to happen until you do it. And it's like only time is going to tell. Bro, I can guarantee you. That, that's can... the biggest thing. Like time is going to tell. You, you can make as many projections or whatever you want. But nothing is going to tell the future like time. You know what I mean? Exactly, dude. It's like the it's like the same thing when you decided that hey, I'm gonna go live today. You didn't put. You're not. You're not planning when when you first went live. It wasn't like you're planning like oh yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna go live. I'll go live with this kid Charlie. I'm gonna go live with this kid. No. And the same no. with me. I didn't know. I had no idea. A hundred percent. Like and and I say this. So much I mean like maybe not as much as I should on live but like I say it a lot the amount of times and like just like even the fact like we were going live before the rankings or big gifts or anything was even a thing so for people to even come in and start chirping about that it's like we've been doing that okay we've been doing that before like it, it was even a thing like when we were making nothing, we were still going live and still doing this shit. Like, it's like, you can't use that as an excuse against us because we were doing it. Like, it's like, we weren't getting paid to do it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you can't bring this factor into it. It's like, we're not thinking about that. Oh, we're just sharing our life and our opportunities and everything and trying to grow as a community, as like, whatever it is, as like a whole. So it's like for people to come in and start saying like, oh, you're using it for, it's like, no, we've been here long before that. Like we've been doing this. We've been doing this. A hundred percent. And dude, you know what like, I mean? like, like, and, and like for the mission for the Phoenix crew, listen, I, we have a mission over here and it is my, it's my mission in life is to just bring more positivity and love into this world. It sounds simple and it sounds cliche, but it's something that I, I really hold near and dear to my heart and I want to I want to expand on that. I want to want to reach millions. I want to reach as many people as I can and build this Phoenix crew into the greatest thing that it's ever been. And and listen, we started back way before that as well. Um, and we you will if you don't thoroughly believe in your mission, there is no way that you can stay consistent there. If you don't be truly believe in what you're doing, good luck staying consistent for a year. Good luck staying consistent oh. for years. There, there, there is absolutely 0% chance you're going to have any longevity going into it. If you have that kind of mindset, like you cannot have a selfish or greedy mindset. Like it's like, you just, you can't have it. Like people see through it. It might, it might work for you for like maybe a month. And then it's like, okay, you die out. But it's like, at that point, it's like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like hundred percent. Yeah. Listen, there's always going to be people that there's always going to be people that are haters. There's always going to be people that are saying stuff. And you just gotta, you gotta, just gotta know that what your vision, you have your mission, you're doing what's pure to you. You're, you have my, you like for us, we have our long-term goal of just, you know, bring more positivity and laughs and smiles into the world. I literally, I was my bio on Instagram, do what makes you happy. Like, it's just you got to you got to cancel out the noise because there's always going to be noise. Even if you are the most positive person in the world, you're still going to have haters. Oh, you're still going to have people that are upset that you're smiling and, and listen. And I never I never even thought that that would be something that like would be a problem like years ago. But I realized that, wow, like there's some people that no matter no matter how much you try to be positive and how much you try to like spread love and stuff, there's just there's going to be haters. And but oh. that's no reason to stop. That's no reason to stop your positivity. That's no reason to stop the smiles. There's no reason like when you walk past someone in the grocery store to not smile, like to not make someone laugh. Like there's no reason for that. Just because of the, my, just because of the small few that might be persistently negative or, you know, haters, like you can't stop. Like, and like, this is where I know you can definitely relate to as like a creator where it's like, you can definitely get lost very easily in the negative comments and like the negative reviews that you see or whatever. And it's like, it, it definitely impacts your mindset and like the content that you start putting out. You know what I mean? Yep. Like where it's like, it, it kind of like subconsciously it feeds into like your mindset. So it's like when you go to start making posts or whatever, like it's, it's in there. So it's like, even though it's not directly there, like it's indirectly there. And it's like, it's such like a dangerous thing to get into the loop of, but it's also such a hard thing to like cut out everybody else's opinions of and like, you know what I mean? And just do what you want to do and do what's working for you. Yep. And it's such a hard balance, but it's like, if you can nail that down, one, you're going to be way happier in life. And two, you can find way more success in your life. Like in, in that space, like, you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, so like, so for me, like I, the way that I think about it in my brain, like the way that I'm able to like, like don't get me wrong, negativity gets to everybody. There's always gonna be like, however much you say that it doesn't affect you, it'll always affect you in some some way. But the way that I that that I sort of deal with it, and there's always there's always constructive criticism in life. Always be, there's always there's always a way to be constructively like try to help somebody for whatever reason. But to be negative. For you to go out and say something on someone's page and be completely rude and be completely negative, okay, th that's coming from someone with not that th it's not the right intentions. Like they've got something going on and they're trying to spew the negativity over to you, okay? No one's coming on your like page. They're trying to like, they're trying to like almost push their own excuse into your own situation. You know what I mean? 100%. 100%. Yeah. And you have to be smart enough to realize that. Like someone that is has a positive mindset and is loving and is caring, is, do you think that someone like that is really gonna come onto your page and start saying some negative stuff, some hateful stuff about you? Get out of here! It's not gonna. And I mean, like we we've seen it. Like the proof is in the pudding. You know, like we can see people who are like evidently and truly there for like your actual overall growth, and like people who are there to like almost benefit off of the clout that you've got going on. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's very in very easily distinguishable between the two because it's like listen man i know you're just here because it's like we're booming right now and it's like okay i know like you're here but you've always been here you know what i mean like it's it's very easy to pick out the two 100 percent. no it totally is it totally, but at totally the same is. time it can be very very fucking tricky man like it's like some people fucking lay low and it's like you don't even know and then next thing you know they're fucking throwing a knife in your back and you're like hey yeah. yo what the fuck just happened a hundred percent that's where they get the term that's where they get the term keep your friends clo close and your enemies closer like you don't like you don't know like sometimes you don't know <laughs> but i've heard that i've heard that be thrown around that's just uh, it. it's like it, it doesn't like all it takes is a little bit of life experience to like just like engrave that in your mind and it's like okay true like you know what i mean like some people really are like that and some people are genuinely there for you yeah but all you can do is just keep living through it and just experience and kind of learn from that because it's like you don't know until it happens you know what i mean and they say you know we say this in our lab a lot this we say that like nuggets like positivity is contagious and it totally is like when, when you see someone like laugh you can have a good time having a good time it's gonna make you want to laugh and have a good time but if you see negativity and you see people being hateful and stuff like that that also is contagious so it's it's, it's double-edged you know so you want to make sure that you have a strong community that like you know we're built off of positivity and love and you spread that contagious everywhere because in the world needs more of it so Man, I've, I've always strongly believed you are 80% of your environment. You know what I mean? So it's like if you're in a toxic environment, the odds are pretty good you're going to be pretty fucking toxic. But if you're in a pretty stable, like, you know what I mean? Well moving kind of environment, like things are be, like things are going to be going pretty decent for you. Like your relationships yeah. are going to be decent. Like you're going to have good trust between other people like you know what i mean like it's just gonna be different where it's like you start like engaging with like these people who are a little bit shady and like start kind of hiding certain things and it's like you can notice it and it's like over time like you start building patterns and it's like you realize who somebody really is where it's like if they're just straight up open from the front it's a whole different story because it's like okay you could still be doing like you know a shady thing here or there but it's like at base value you're still very upfront of how you are and who you are as a person so it's like okay even if you are doing such a thing who you're engaging with has an opportunity to like expand and learn off of what you're doing at the time you know what i mean yeah. so it's like say me and you are good friends right and i go out and i do something one night where it's like okay i might not necessarily agree with but it's like i don't disagree with so it's like it's kind of like that mutual ground where it's like you know what i mean but it's like the people that lack the communication it's like you either split the one way or you split the other and there's no in between like there is no helping the cause there is nothing to benefit you it's like you just absolutely severed a relationship and it is what it is where it's like that that's where you go wrong so it's like everybody can learn 
something off of everybody's situation. Like, even if you don't necessarily agree with it, it's like, you can still take away something that I've been doing or that you would, that you see that could work out better. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, like, you don't necessarily have to follow the same fucking lifestyle, but it's like, you can still take good key points off of what they're doing and contribute it to what you're doing. A hundred percent. Yeah. Not everybody's going to agree on every single thing. Like even your best friends, like I, I like my best friends, like we also hear it here in, uh, in, well, back in New York, like we differ on a lot of stuff, but we, we, we agree to disagree sometimes. And you know, it's not going to like ruin our friendship or anything like that. Listen, we grow from it and we learn that we, you know, I like have different opinions on certain things and it's totally okay. But dude, yeah, such a valuable. And, like, and like, not to get like all mushy and shit, but it's like, that's one big thing I've noticed in like the last like five years is like, it's a lot harder to have like very serious and like intimate conversation with friends without them taking it to heart and thinking they've like, whether it's they've fucked up really big or you fucked up really big and then they just split. You know what I mean? Where it's like people don't actually just talk it out and just see like the mutual sides of, okay, this is my side of it and this is your side of it what's yeah, yeah. like you know what's what's the good in between like that that does not happen a hell of a lot anymore it's more so like okay this is my viewpoint this is my viewpoint i don't agree with it whatever okay split ways boom and yeah. that's what happens it's super value it's a super valuable thing to be able to really talk something out and not and to just not like just yeah, like I, to, to just talk about your your how you feel and to listen is another huge thing. To literally listen to someone is for something. For sure, to, like, to not take a personal where it's like, okay, they could be giving you constructive criticism, but don't take that to heart. Like, it's like, hey man, like I see all this potential in you, just try this out, do this. But it's like some people take that to like, oh, I'm fucking up, I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing this. And then they just completely shut down. It's like, that's not the intention of, what the other person was trying to do. It's more so like, Hey, you know, like this could help you. This could benefit you. I've seen this work for me, whatever, you know, ETC. And then it's like, but people shut that down so quick. They think they're very criticism, like very critical of it and they just shut it down. And then that's, that's it. That's all. And it's like, yeah. you're, I'm you're killing know. it right now. Like, it's, it's like, Hey, like that's, that's not the point of all of this is the point is to realize your flaws and keep going and to show other people that your flaws are not going to hold you back in life. Like, it's like, Hey, you're and still good. You know what I mean? You're, you're still, good. yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that you could grow. Like people could, ch like people could change Pe people that really, really like, if you are, or if you're a listener and you care and you care about constructive criticism and, and try to be a better person each and every day, you can change people change. And, and so it's, <laughs> It's super, it's, it's not, it's not as common as people, like a lot, a lot of people would hope, but like people, if you really are a good listener and you really work hard at trying to become the best version of yourself, you change it and a and hundred percent. And, uh, and yeah, so very, very interesting. And this is a very awesome talk we have, buddy Alex. I didn't know that I'd come on and have this such an inspirational chat right now. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Like me and Kroon talk about it all the time. Like, it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, you know what, like, yeah, you could be presented with X amount of situations, X amount of whatever. But like at the end of the day, like everybody's presented the same opportunity, the same kind of thing. It's like it's 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 really what you make of it. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's how you personally perceive it and how you want to take the direction of it. Yep. So it's like yep. Yeah. You, know, you could have the wealthiest parents, the best parents in the world. And it's like, at the end of the day, you're not content with that lifestyle and you still join the street life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, it, it really doesn't matter your personal social situation. It's like what you actually want to do as a person and like, like what you like actually want to accomplish. That's what speaks to volumes about you as a person, because it's like anybody, fucking anybody can go out and go to a gas station and fucking, you know, buy chips for a fucking another family or whatever. But it's like for somebody to actually like hold that mentality and continue to like show that kind of effort and do things that kind of express that mindset. It's like that that's what separates that from like 
somebody who's just trying to kind of gain temporary like hey like I, you know i'm helping out you know what i mean yep. yeah and yeah and no, no, it's, it's awesome that you bring that up and like i i think that the um what were we talk we were talking about this yesterday how like when you when when you look at your life as a whole and like let's say you know you're you're, you're like you lived a full life you lived a full and complete life and you look back on your life and one of the main things that you'll look back on and one of the most important things and the most important is not only carrying out what you wanted to in life and doing what makes you happy but what effect you had here on earth like who did you make smile? How did, how, how did, how did you affect this world in a positive way? Who, whose life did you change? Like, did, who did you make smile throughout your life? Who did you make sure they were on a path to being okay, being, staying healthy, staying motivated? Who, like, like helping other people and making sure that people are okay is such a huge thing. And like making sure other people are happy and wanting to make, of course you want to make yourself happy. Of course, uh, I understand that. But like your effect on this world has such a, 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 it's such a grand thing that we talk about it all the time. Like having such a, like, I think it's one of the most important things, like your effect that you have on people throughout the course of your life, because that's what life is about. It's all about interaction and, and you know, and growth and, 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 and help and, 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 and positivity and love. That's why I know we say, I know it gets cheesy, but like, it's so true. Like that's it's what matters when we look back. That's like, the thing. Like, like at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you like, you look at like the moments where it's like that actually mean shit. Like, it's like, yeah. you know, not like the, like the five seconds or 10, 15, 20 or 30 seconds. That it's like, you know, of a moment that like kind of builds up. It's like, okay, yeah, that might be great and all, but it's like, at the end of the day, like, that's not actually what you're thinking about, you know, like, it's like, on your day to day basis, your human interaction, what you're doing, like, like, just like the smaller things, like everything that's smaller adds up. And it overpasses the bigger instances that kind of happen. Like, it's like, you know, you could meet somebody that you've wanted to meet all of your life. But it's like, you know, like if you have a good solid week of smaller interactions with local people, people that are traveling, whatever, I I will guarantee you, you feel more fulfilled interacting with all of those smaller travelers or whatever you want to call them, than you are talking to a big name celebrity. If that's somebody that you've wanted to meet all of your life, 10 out of 10 times, you will be way more fulfilled talking to those travelers, giving them recommendations, doing whatever, like, you know, just giving them a friendly soul to talk to, then talking to somebody that you've wanted to meet all of your life. 10 out of 10 times, you will feel way, way, way better, way better. And it's just like, it's just a good person thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, hey, like, don't get me wrong. You talk to your idol. It's a fucking incredible thing to do. That's fucking amazing. Like props to you for doing that. But at the same time, you give help to a random person on the street or you give a little bit of advice or whatever, that is a feeling that is just unmatched. Like, it's like, you can't match that. Like, it's like, it's it's almost like an indescribable feeling. Like, it's like, oh, you feel very chippy, but also very like, it's, it's such a hard thing to describe, but I know what you know. Yeah. Like, I know you know what I'm talking about. You know, Bro, I, mean? I, tot I totally get it. It's like, it's, it's such yeah, a it's, hard thing to describe, but it's like, you, you feel this like feeling of like, like satisfaction and like, yeah, I, I don't even know how to word it, man. But. Yeah, no, it's like, they say, okay, okay, here, I, maybe I make, maybe I can help because it's essentially just loving like the, the little things, like little interactions and, 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 and being able to help out other, like giving other people advice, like simple stuff like that, like yeah. makes your heart feel warm and. And the reason I, I, I believe that is like, they always say that a giver's heart is like the warmest heart, someone that just wants to see other people happy and with no expectation in return. Like, so when you do these little, like these interactions and like you, you help people out with like recommendations or you might give them some information that, you know, could maybe even maybe change their life in a, in, in a, in a grand way, or maybe even just a smile for that day. Like being able to deliver that is far more valuable then when you're looking back at your life, then, then some like materialistic things, like, trust me, the interactions that you have in a positive way are so much more substantial 
than some silly materialistic thing. Because I guarantee at the end of the day, none of that, none of the materialistic stuff matters. I, I guarantee it. The things and the effects that you had on people matter way, way more. Man, and like, I can relate to that to like such a personal level where it's like, hey, like we've done like our fair share of traveling within the last two years. And it's like the personal recommendations that come in, like it's like, okay, like, you know, you see recommendations like here and there, whatever. And it's like, okay, you take them into mind. But it's like a lot of the ones that you see, like a lot of the times, like you start to like embed into your head. So it's like, you know, you go out, you do what so-and-so suggested or like, you know, you're even in the same area. And it's like, maybe you didn't even do the exact same thing that they suggested, but it's like, it's still kind of ingrains that into your head and it kind of builds that other kind of relationship where it's like, it, it, it's such a hard thing to describe, but it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's really like a very creator and viewer based kind of relationship where it's like, Hey, like if you're a part of this community, you understand. And if not, you probably won't, and you might not ever, but it's just how it is. It's like, Hey, like, you know, you've showed love from day one, right up until now, like, you know, like it might not show a significant impact, but we're still seeing you. We're still seeing what you're suggesting. We're still doing this, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it makes a bigger difference than what a lot of people realize. No, I absolutely love, I love that. I love that. Yeah. We have that here, you know, like it's like the little things, you know, with the people that, you know, have been here with the Phoenix crew for, for years now, which is crazy that we say years, but literally years, uh, which is giving me goosebumps. But, um, but yeah, no, it's the little things that you make, but you know, the, your community, your crew, your family, like it's those, it's those type of memories that you make on like the, of being with like the crew for so long. And, and, you know, you have like your little inside jokes, you have like the things that make you laugh, you know, certain things and, and listen, and knowing about that, there's going to be so many grand things to come in the future is another one, which you can get all into. That's kind of the beauty of it too, eh? Because it's like, you can kind of live your life as you want during the day, but it's like at the end of the night, you know, you can go live and you still have your solid community there. You know, it's solid, you know, what's going to happen. You know how they react, you know, how like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's such a nice, like reassuring safe space where it's like, if you're like, if you happen to catch a negative time frame where it's like, okay, you might not be in the best mindset or whatever, like they are always there to pick you up and like kind of help you push through that. And it's like, it's such a great thing to see. Like, and it's such a rare thing to see, you know what I mean? Like so many people are just there for like either like just the gifts or whatever, but like we've been doing this for like before, like gifting was like really even a big thing. So it's like, we, we are very fortunate in the sense where it's like, we have a very good community to pick us up when we're feeling like we're down. You know what I mean? So blessed, so blessed buddy Alex. Like you have no idea. Like it's, I thank my lucky stars every day, dude. I'm not gonna lie. You know, we've been going live, like you said, for, for a long time. There have been some times where, while we've been live, my head has been down like this. Uh, and we ended the live with big smiles. We ended the live with a good times. We bring it in for a hug, like which listen, you can't get that anywhere else. You can't. I don't. I don't care what anyone says. You can't get that anywhere else. It's crazy. We get, the things we got here is you know, un, untouchable, man. And I'm so grateful you've got such an amazing squad as well, man. Um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's like we've both put in the time, the work. Like it's like we've been doing this before battles or the rankings were even a big thing. Like it's like. For anybody to come in and say we're doing it just for that, it's like you don't even know. Like we've been here before this, okay? Like we're we're like we're the OGs of OG lives. Like we we've been doing this. We've been here, okay? So come out there and start saying like, okay, we're doing this just for the income, or whatever. Like you're so fucking far from wrong. Like it's like we've we've been doing it before we were even making a cent on live. Like it's like we just do it because we enjoy connecting with the people building relationships and doing what we do like you know what i mean like it's like you yep. you can't even come at us from that front because at the end of the day all of us that are like our core group we've all been doing it before it was even a big thing so it's like oh 100 percent. listen so you just can't, can't listen to the noise dude can't listen to the noise no matter how how much it tries to get in 
it's just it's it's tough it's tough you just can't listen to that kind of stuff like dude we've been when we we, we i remember back in the summer of 2021 we used to i used to get i used to get on every morning after the gym and this is before battles or anything like that we used to get on and i used to make one big gigantic cup of lemonade dude in the middle of the summer like june of 2021 every day after i came home from the gym i'd sit outside the sun's like still at 11 a.m 10 a.m and I turn the live camera on and I'd sit there and we go live until I finish the huge canister of lemonade. And we used to do that for like a couple months and we just, every single day we built a community and that's some OG stuff right there. But dude, like that just. Like, you see what I mean though? Like those are the best kind of memories, man, because it's like, we'll never be able to replicate those kind of memories. Well, like no matter how much we want to or how much we want to try it, we'll never be able to replicate that kind of stuff. Like it's like, it's just like we have to just think back at it and just cherish it enjoy it and make the most out of what came from those memories you know what i mean because it's like we're never gonna we're never gonna experience that kind of like adrenaline high or anything like that like yeah. I, like at least in the near future you know what i mean like it's like it's such a rare thing to happen it's like we just you can't take advantage of an opportunity you have to appreciate it at every front and just help as many people out as you can along the way 100%. and that is your best bet and and at the end of the day dude when it's all said and done and you know it's the it's your time and you would give everything like everything up to go back to the point where like let's say go back to this moment in time you know you could you could you could let's say let's say if you were working like doing like working for a materialistic type of goal you could work your whole life at working for it. And at the end of the day, you would, you would, you would give it all up to go back and to go live a different, to live a different way or, or to go back and just relive memories. Like what I, maybe I, maybe I approached the, what I was saying wrong, but what I'm trying to say is like, like I, like these moments that we have, I, I would give every like at the end of the day, I would give everything up to go back and just experience again to be able to try oh these God. to have these conversations and like do new things and and like I would get I just love the, I just love the path of, that we're on here in the Phoenix crew. I love having the new adventures every single day and not knowing what's coming in the future. I just I just love experiencing that. Like I just get I get so worked up that I know at the end of the day I would give everything up to come back to this moment. So it makes me want to live so like like lively and vivaciously. I don't know if that's the right word, but like, um, dude, like it's crazy. It's crazy, man. No, so. It, it's so true though, man. Like even for me personally, like it's like, okay, like I went from a guy that was living in like a very small town kind of atmosphere. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, like, you know, the biggest thing that people really do is go and play junior B hockey. You know what I mean? So it's not really big. It's not really a big kind of mindset kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like to accomplish the things that we accomplished in like the last two years and build like the relationships with like you, Dawson, like and and like countless other creators is insane because it's like that is the absolute last thing that anybody would think of from anybody that's around like our area. So like it kind of like it almost like it didn't directly feed us but it like indirectly fed us. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, we realize we're still out here and we're still doing this kind of stuff. And it's like to a certain point, like after a little while, like it not necessarily felt normal, but like, you know, you get more into a routine than what it, what it is beforehand. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like, it kind of just continues to build off of there. And then you start to see more reactions of people that you went to school with or good buddies or whatever. And you start to realize like, oh, it's like, okay, like we're actually sitting here. Like we're, like we're doing something that like it's legit. Like it actually means something to people. Like it's not just, Hey man, like, let's just go out and post this. Let's just do this for fun. Let's like, you know, like it actually takes like that whole, like kind of level of seriousness into it and slaps that into you where it's like hey wake up like other people are paying attention to you they're basing some of their decisions around what you're doing like you know what i mean so it's yeah. like yeah. It's you, because you have to kind of wake up and be more attentive to your surroundings and your situation where it's like hey like you know it's not just about you or your friends or your family like it's like hey you have a whole other eye like a mindset i set everything looking at you like you gotta you gotta start thinking 
a little bit differently than just what's like expected. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it, and the, the reason why people like, I, like so many people say that the, like their lives have been changed is it, like with, with your team and your crew and, and here in the Phoenix crew, it's like, because not only, not only your, like your intentions are like, you have these, these big goals and these, the, these, these big dreams that you, you affect other people. When other people come into your life and they hear you about like your, your motivation or, or your future and where, what you want to do in your plans and stuff, it inspires people, the positivity that you guys have in there. Cause I hear, I hear it coming through all the time. It inspires people. It makes people feel warm inside. Like those are, those are real tangible feelings. Those are real tangible things that people love and you're inspiring other people and you're lifting people up to do those things as well. So it's a super, super admirable thing. And whoever tells you otherwise is wrong or jealous or, or hating. Like it is such a, you seriously, I'm, I'm so serious. Like, like what you're doing is incredible. I don't like it. it, it, it for someone to say no, it's just, they're just being a hater. Like you are changing people's lives, buddy Alex. Like seriously, you are changing people's lives for the better. So many people's lives. You have made so many people smile. You have, you have changed people's lives for the better. And so I appreciate that. And, and your team of course appreciates that. You're, you're an amazing guy, buddy Alex. And do not stop. Keep on going, man. That's not like, that's like, likewise, you know, I could say the exact same about you. Like, you know, you, you are the epitome of not taking anything to heart and just keep going and just doing what you think is good and what's right. And you just keep going for it. And like all the props to you for that, because it's like, that's a tough thing to do. Like where it's like, okay, you know, other people might be saying this or that, but it's like, you always have that same mindset and just keep moving in that exact same direction. And it's very sturdy. And it's like, I, I understand, I, I understand why people gravitate towards that because it's like, it just makes so much sense. Like, it's like, you're sturdy, like, you know what you're going for, you know what you want, you know, what's right. You know what makes sense. And you just keep going towards that. And you don't let any of like the external bullshit kind of like filter in, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like, you're focused. You keep track of your personal daily workouts, your eating regimen, whatever it is, everything. And it all just builds up to like the kind of same goal at the end of the day. And it's like, a lot of people don't do that. And it's like, it's, it's a lot more respectable than like what a lot of people see at face value, because it's like, it shows a lot of self-discipline and it's like, Hey, you have to be serious and you have to focus on this. If you want to actually achieve this, like, it's like, you might have all of the natural ability or natural genetics that you want, but at the end of the day, if you don't put in the work, you're not going to get the results. Like, it's like, you might have it for the first month or two, but it's like, it's going to plateau super quick after that. And it's like, you're not going to get it where it's like, you just, you have the genetics, you have the natural genetics, you have the work ethic and everything, and you just keep working for it. And that's where it's like, it's, it's inspiring because it's like, you go from like, what's like, okay, like I could have a normal physique to like, Hey, like I take this shit serious. Like what's up. And it's like, okay, I have a fucking elite physique now. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, Hey, I, I am that guy. You know what I mean? Like you are that guy, but it's like, but it takes an extreme amount of dedication and perseverance and everything to just get to that level. Like, it's not just like, Hey, like, you know, I want to do like, you have to actually work towards that. Hey, thanks. It's man. Not I, I, really, I really, really appreciate that. That, that does mean a, a real lot coming from you, buddy, Alex. I really do appreciate that. Listen, and I, I can't, I, I would, I would a hundred times out of a hundred times say I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am if it wasn't for the Phoenix crew. I, and the Phoenix crew knows this guy's like, there have been some days where, you know, I, I have been down that I, I wasn't feeling my best. And this is why it's so important to have a support system, buddy, Alex, I know you've got an amazing a support system over there. And you could also attest, listen, not every day do we wake up and we're like, oh boy, let's start the day. I can't wait to go to the gym. I can't wait to do this. There's some days where my head's on, on the table and, um, listen, but the, having a strong support system around you, and I know you have it, we have the Phoenix crew here. 
it, we work to, to, to all lift each other up. It's like the rising tide, it lifts, it lift, and the tide is the Phoenix crew and the tide is your squad that we go along for. It, it lifts everyone up. Every single person comes up with it when you have that strong positivity like web, you know, it's just, and, and it's like, it's real strong. We both got real strong freaking squad. And listen, it lifts man. us up and I'm so thankful, man. So thankful. Man. Like if, if you look at it like at a base value, like for a bunch of guys who have only met each other like a fucking handful of times, like it's like our relationships that we all have together, like is incredible. Like it's like, hey, we might have only met each other a fucking handful of times, but it's like we know each other so well. We have such a great bond between each other where it's like, hey, yeah. we might have only met each other in person maybe once, twice in person, but it's like at the end of the day, I still have your back more than people that I've known my entire life. You know what I mean? Where it's like we have that like mutual kind of respect and love for each other that a lot of people don't have and it's just like that kind of like the way that we were kind of just doing it you know what i mean like it's like all the stars kind of aligned and we were able to meet and it's like we've just made it work since then and we're just making the most of it dude a hundred percent and it stems from these chats like this that we have dude where we really we really open our you know our feelings up and thanks, Will. <laughs> um, we really open our feelings up, dude, and we, we, we be honest and we, we, and we be true. And listen, because this, the feelings that we have, there's it's the feelings that so many have here in the Phoenix Crew, so many in the We Go Along community and the family. Like, And we come on here and we be our honest and true selves and we explain how we feel. And, you know, everybody, we have people here who relate so much. And, and to have such an amazing family, both families come together like this and, and talk about these things. Like we have been talking for 45 minutes about super important stuff. And like we got down to earth. It felt like five minutes, but we got we got really down to it. We talked this about some amazing freaking things. And I, I hope you guys benefited from this. I hope you guys smile from this. Like I hope you guys got something from this. I hope you guys wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed, feeling ready to tackle the day better than the day before. And to that, I said, thank you guys so much. Thank you to the We Go Along fam. <laughs> I did not expect this. Thank you to Kuhn. Kuhn, Kuhn. Kuhn is here, but he's not. He's, he's, he's here. He joined. He's, he is part of this. He is part of this. Uh, hey, that's it right here. That's it right here. <laughs> so it. funny. So funny. But yeah, dude. Oh, man. Good times, dude. But 100%. So, dude, enjoy freaking Montreal. It's going to be so much fun. I want to hear all the stories, all right? You better tell me all of them. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you in on the scoop for sure. We'll let you know. I'm freaking excited. Yeah, it's going to gonna be a good time. <laughs> you guys are going to have the time of your lives. Kuhn's just resting up because he knows it's going to be a big day tomorrow. That's no, just, just a, have a good nap. Just a good nap. That's all. <laughs> 100%. So, dang, man. Good stuff. Good freaking stuff, dude. Um, so would, it was great. It was great reconnecting with you. We have to run one again soon, bro. Let's run one again soon and uh, let's connect soon too. Let's let's make a trip or something. Hundred percent. Listen, we got we got time. We got time to do it. We'll figure something out, dude. When you guys, you know, enjoy Montreal, enjoy enjoy, you know, what all it's got to offer. <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, we'll, we'll figure something out too. We'll stay connected and we'll have a good time. Then we'll make some more memories with the entire squad. The entire squad. All right, brother, man. We appreciate you. We appreciate Phoenix crew. And we will see you all, all soon, my boy. All right, buddy, Alex. Hey, take care. See you, Kuhn. Thank you for joining in. And to everybody in the We Go Along fam, we'll catch you guys soon, all right? Adios, muchacho. Uh, peace out, buddy, Alex. Bye, We Go Along fam. See you guys. Yeah. Like, is it, I get it, but like, fucker, come on, bitch, what the fuck, pussy, bring it the fuck on, fucking chump change, motherfucker.
Imagine having two mil and losing to somebody with 200k. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. Tell him that, too. Fucking tell him that. Pussy. Sorry, I'm taking a piss right now. Also, I am also going outside for a drunk cigarette. I don't give a fuck what anybody has to say. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. I'm, I, I'm going for a drunk dart. I don't give a fuck. I need a fucking dart right now. 100%. Where does Sweet Alex go? Gone forever. Are you nuts? We're in Montreal right now. There's nothing sweet about Montreal. It's all fucking savagery. I'll give a fuck! Coon. I'll give a fuck! He doesn't give a fuck either, apparently. Where's my fucking key? God damn it. Oh, I'll just take Coon's. I don't give a fuck. I'm going for a drunk dart. Let's go. He's out cold right now. Like, he's fucked. Wait, give me one second. I'm going on the elevator right now. Give me one second. Oh, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Momento, por favor, Mr. Roll. Wait, what kind of hat is that? The Angels? Are you an Angels fan? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a football fan, but it's, not, it's all they had. I'm going out for a drunk dart right now. I'm not even going to. Oh, you're juiced. He's juiced. He's juiced. Toilet talks. Brought to you by the Schofield. Bro, we made boys with a fucking hotel bartender tonight. Our guy hooked us up. Bless the kid. My boy hooked us up tonight. Yeah, I can tell, man. You're feeling it. You're like me last night, buddy. Laughing. Woo! Is that the sweet? Well, not quite. I'm not about to Uber a chick over here. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, I did it for us. Uh, all the props. No, no, all the props to you. Like, me and Crude saw that. And we fucking loved it. That was great. Totally that was top, fucking baby. great. We're looking for. Dude, you got to you got to make that a thing. You have to make toilet talks a thing. No, it is a thing. I've talked about this with people, bro. Was that your first session? Yeah, it was just random. And I was I was saying to Money Phone before, I'm like, man, it's going to get spicy. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make it spicy. I'm going to fucking do whatever it takes. <laughs> You're fucking... I love you. That's why I love you, man. You're fucking a wild card. You're like me on the golf course. You could either break a club or break 80. You know what I mean? Buddy, I'm breaking 80. Trust. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Buddy. Hey. Fuck, we need a, we need a little uh, getaway. No, I know, man. I wish it was a little bit. Usually, I'm like ready. not, like not like a very last second kind of getaway, but like a, a proper getaway. Yeah, and I'm ready. And I went to Montreal last year. It was it was nice, but eh, French people trip me out. It's kind of overrated, bro. It is. It is. Like I've only been here for like 26 hours, and it's kind of overrated. Yeah. It's, it's fucking dead. Look at this. This is the middle of the night on the street. Are you fucking nuts? Yeah, Dude, if this was Toronto right now, it'd be bumping. Thursday night? Like, you guys should be warming up the Friday sesh, man. Like, it's terrible. I'm telling you. Bro, Coon can't even fucking say hi straight right now. This guy can't even open his eyes. No. He, he doesn't even know where he is right now. Yeah, no, man. See, that was... I felt like that last night. It was creeping up on me. 
Yeah. But you had a good night, though. You had a good time. <sighs> Buddy, it was the best, man. I, people hated me, and, I, you know, I thrive the best under that. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you that, – that, <laughs> that's where you thrive. That's where you thrive. Thrive the most, bro. When the, the, sometimes too much love makes me uncomfortable, man. I was like <laughs> – Oh, you're fucked. Uh, all right, you fucking champion. I'll let you go fucking do your thing tonight, and we'll uh, we'll catch up. All right, we'll man, catch man. up. You be safe, my man. Oh, I'll do my best. I might end up at the fucking champion tonight, or whatever the fuck it's called, the kingdom, or whatever the fuck. I don't even know. Where they dance for a little something, something. Yeah, a little fucking. Oh yeah. Fireman's dance. You know what I mean? Go down oh, the pole. Go live there, buddy. I'd throw a couple coins your way. Oh, I probably can't go live there. Are you nuts? I might. <laughs> Good luck, brother. Good luck. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, we'll keep you. We'll keep you updated. We'll. Uh, we'll. Yeah. We'll keep. You tell your people if, you, if you're if you're in there. You you come get us. We'll come watch as a team, buddy. <laughs> All right, bro. Sounds good. <laughs>
Knock knock motherfuckers! No, there's no tweakers here actually. I've only seen one tweaker since we've been here. And that's fucking rare for a city. You know what I mean? You only see one tweaker per 24 hours that you're in a city. That's fucked. That's a fucking rare occurrence. You know what I mean? It's clean here. It's fucking clean. I've only seen one person talk to themselves. On drugs. Other than that, it's been so clean. Which is extremely sad. Okay? It's extremely sad to see the condition that some people get into. However, at the same time, I've grown up around that kind of setting, okay? And you, at the end of the day, it's what you make of your own situation. So it's like, if you decide to go down that route, that's your route, you know what I mean? But. At the end of the day, that's your choice, really. That's your choice. I've seen it all happen. My mom is experienced, okay, in the field. I've grown out, I've grown up knowing about this shit, all right? You know what I mean? I've grown up knowing about this shit. I choose not to go down that road, therefore, It is what it is. However, certain people choose to go down that road and all the luck to them. However, I've seen the downsides of it. I've seen the downsides of it. I don't need the fake bullshit. It's fucked up, all right? It's fucked up. I'm not going down it. I'm not going down that road. But. Don't sit there and chirp me because I'm making these accusations, whatever. Because I've seen it all. My mom was in this trade for fucking 15 plus years. I've seen it all, okay? I don't give a fuck. I feel bad for you to a certain extent. And then after that, you are responsible for your own choices. And if you continue to go down that road, that's on your own doing. I don't give a fuck if that's your upbringing or whatever. You have a certain time frame where you can make a change and if you don't do that that's on you at the end of the day that's on you you continue to play victim that's what it is I've seen it all I don't give a fuck I don't feel bad anymore I really don't I really don't to be honest with you recovery is possible it's if you, if you want to do it you can do it it's really up to the person but if you want to continue to play victim, I don't give a fuck, to be honest with you. I do not feel pity for you. I do not, whatever. I don't give a fuck. It's up to you. At the end of the day, you have plenty of opportunity. Especially nowadays. If you continue to go down the same road, that's on you. We've seen it all. We've seen it all. I don't give a fuck. You cannot guilt trip me into that shit. Facts. I get it. <clears throat> Some people raised in a very unfortunate circumstance. I feel for that. I get that. It's very unfortunate, very shitty. But the, at the end of the day, you have to stop playing victim at a certain point and make a difference for yourself. And if you don't, that's on you because a lot of people do and all the props to them. You know what I mean? You can't sit there and play fucking victim all the time. It's not going to work. People will not give pity for you. It doesn't fucking matter your circumstance. See what it is, make a change, and do what you can to help progress yourself forward, and that's all you can do. You sit there and play victim, nobody's gonna play pity. 
you might get it for the first little bit but after that that's it it's over and really that only gives you a false sense of hope and it's like at the end of the day that's worse than no hope you know what i mean so fuck it if you're in that position work for it get yourself out of it and keep moving forward because at the end of the day that's all that's going to happen people aren't going to fucking care about what you're doing they care about what they're doing and all you can do is live your best life but you sitting there taking pity for your own actions not going to work it's not going to happen not good nobody gives a fuck at that point It's harsh, but it's true. You know what I mean? It's harsh, but it's true. I've learned it. I've learned it the hard way. You want to play victim all you want, whatever. You want to get the attention, whatever it is. Even if it's subconscious. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. You got to show that you're putting effort forward towards improving yourself, improving your situation, and then you can start taking into those other thoughts. You know what I mean? But up until then, you're just looking for excuses to keep going down the road that you're going down. And it's like, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm still learning it. I'm not saying I'm flawless at that situation. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect at that. I still know it. But at the same time, I can recognize when it's like, okay, hey. Smart not, motherfucker. You know what I mean? You're doing this for the wrong reasons or whatever you... Like, you know what I mean? Smart not. That's all you can do. You keep going down that road and next thing you know, it's fucking, there's nothing there for you. There's nobody there for you. It's very lonely. Not what you want to do. Not what you want to do. It's not smart. Tough love is the only way. That's it. You know, like you can be very appreciative towards somebody. You can show love, but it's like tough love is its own. It's its own thing. Sometimes that's what you need to hear. Bad calls. You're better than this. Wake up. Everybody has those moments. You know what I mean? Everybody has those moments. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, how smart you think you are. Everybody has those moments where it's like, hey, somebody else will put you into perspective and put you into place. And you have to acknowledge that. If you do not acknowledge that, you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. You're not going to learn. And you're not going to advance. Plain and simple. Very, very plain and simple. You will not grow. You will not advance. There will be nothing beneficial towards that you need to be able to take in other people's inputs and shelter personal feelings aside sometimes even though it could be tough and even though you think you could be in the right like you need to take in every consideration and just go with it because i mean i could tell you from countless experiences where it's like i've thought i've been right just through personal experiences and i've talked to other people that are more experienced in life than I am and it's like at the end of the day they know what they're talking about you know what I mean I sit there I think I know what I'm talking about I go for it I do this and it's like ah nine times out of ten they proved me wrong they were right they knew exactly what they were talking about so listen to your elders it doesn't matter how old you are if you're in your 40s 50s 30s whatever listen to your elders because I guarantee you Even if it seems wrong in your mindset, I guarantee you it's probably the most beneficial and right thing to do for your personal circumstance because they wouldn't say it if it wasn't that. You know what I mean? Like, they are so fucking wise 
and you don't realize that until the like the older you get but it's like the advice that you get from your elders your grandparents whatever it's it's so fucking smart and you just blow it off because it's like oh whatever like yeah that's how it was in your but it's like shit doesn't change that much you know what i mean like the the basis the principle of it all all remains relatively the same so it's like like just fucking listen to them that's what but I've that's what I've grown to learn over the last two years fucking listen to my elders listen to my parents because it's like I always doubt it and it always proves me wrong like it's like they always fucking show me up and it's like fuck I think I'm right and I'm not and they're ah, oh, it didn't come from my mom, it, whatever, it, it's so easy to brush off, but at the end of the day, you go through a fucking live experience, you do whatever, <laughs> and you see firsthand that said person suggested was actually right and bang on with what they were saying, it's like, hey, you gotta start putting more trust into people, you know what I mean? You gotta start putting more trust into people and taking a little bit more risk but at the same time acknowledging where you're at it's such a fucking game though like whenever we have this conversation within like the friend groups it's such a like it's such a hard thing to talk about because like it's such a not an individual situation but almost like every situation varies so much on the actual person and like their situation where it's hard to actually like you know what i mean but i can't even describe it right now like it's, it's so hard to describe but everything is so different every like every situation is so different creator like in a creator stance whatever like even if you're in the same area things are so fucking different and people look at it at such a face value like oh you set up your phone you do this where it's like it's not that like it's literally not that there's so much more that goes into it and people just don't see it which is fine because it's like i don't expect you to see it like if i didn't do it i wouldn't see it either you know what i mean i wouldn't fucking see it either but you start to experience it and it's like hey this is a horse of its own fucking color here like you know you might get your like a certain amount of freedoms and everything that other people don't get but you also get a whole other side of reality that other people don't get you know what i mean like it's like it's fucked you get inputs of fucking some nights a couple hundred people or whatever it's like on an average basis like you you don't fucking get that shit and to take that in especially as somebody who's like still trying to like learn how to like grow and like be a human being in the adult world and to ex like to take in all of that it it's so fucking hard like even for like the most mentally stable person that's so fucking hard to do and then you throw a little bit of like unstableness into that it's fucked it's fucked and then people start fucking making all these accusations and it's like fucking relax like you have no idea what it's like to like to literally grow up in your building years your forming years as a young adult in the eyes of a hundred or a thousand people plus like, do you know how fucking hard that is? That's fucked. Like, people don't actually get how hard that is to do. Like, that's hard enough to do when you have fucking three or two friends that you value their opinion on. Now erase that and there's a hundred plus people looking at you on a daily basis and you're still trying to grow and figure yourself out as a person. 
and you're getting ridiculed on every decision you make, that's fucked. That's actually fucked. That's sickening. But it's like, I get it. It's, it's the life of social media. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you pick your battles, but it's like, people need to fucking chill on like, it's not as easy as like, hey, you set your phone up here. Like, relax, motherfucker. It's not like that. You have to take into consideration of 100 plus opinions, 100 plus feelings, how people are going to perceive things, how you're going to explain yourself in certain situations. Like, it, it's so fucked. And people don't get that. People do not get that. It's like, hey, you set your phone up here and you do X, like, whatever for this amount of time. And it's like, that's not it. Like, yeah, like, at face value, sure, that's it. But, like, it goes so much deeper than that. Like, there's so much more interaction and engagement and and planning and, and other shit that goes into that that people don't see and don't appreciate where it's like, fuck off. Like, like you don't get it. Like, when we don't feel like presenting ourselves to the people or like to the public or like sharing our life, like we still have to kind of do that shit. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's our job. Like we need to show you guys the ups and the downs where it's like, it's such a hard thing to explain but it's like we don't get that we don't get that like two day break or whatever like even when you're not working you're working you're thinking about shit you're doing this you're doing this you're worrying about what you might have said on this like you know what like it's so much deeper than what other people realize and it's like give us a break you know what i mean give us a little bit of a break because it's like our entire life almost is documented on video and we're still going through like our growing years. So like, that's fucked, you know? Like that's fucked, that's exhausting. That, that's a hell of a lot of inputs to throw into one where it's like, most people were like, like it's, it's just fucked. Like you can't compare our situation to your own personal situation because it's way different. It's way fucking different. It might be similar in some aspects, but it's way fucking different. And it's like, I'm not even looking for like... Like... What's it called? Encouragement. I'm just saying like how it is. Like I'm just saying straight up how it is. Like... It might look like, yeah, we're always having a good time. We get to travel or do whatever we want. But it's like, at the same time, like, you don't realize the amount of stress and, like, pressure that you face trying to please a bunch of people. And don't take this the wrong way, okay? Don't take this the wrong way because I do not mean it in the wrong way. But now imagine to try and please a bunch of people but transform that into women, okay? And I mean that in the most sincere kind of way, but it's like, it, it's such a tough fucking thing to do, especially when you add fucking hundreds of them into it because everybody has such a different input into what you're doing and everything. Like, give us a fucking break. We're fucking 23, okay? We're fucking 23, still learning and trying to figure out life fuck off okay if we fuck up let us know and then fuck off because we know we don't need to fucking hear it five times in the fucking in 10 minutes you know what i mean like that doesn't help anybody that really doesn't help anybody you as a viewer you bringing that up that much doesn't help anybody the creator nobody nobody wants to fucking see that shit that much you see it if it's acknowledged once drop it because it's like, okay, you already know it's in the fucking, you already know it's in their mindset. You keep bringing that up, it's fucking horrible. All right? It's fucking horrible. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, we don't, like, we don't need that shit. We already deal, like, 
and like I said before, what we deal with might be very minor compared to what other people deal with, but at the same time, everybody's everybody's kind of like situation impacts them differently okay so it's like if i'm in a certain situation and i'm fucking i feel super stressed about it and it's like you might be in a worse situation it doesn't mean like you know what i'm trying to say it's like we could still be feeling the same kind of stress so it's like fuck off with trying to distribute that kind of your own kind of stress onto somebody else figure it out do it deal with it and keep it going because it's like we're all just trying to fucking figure it out and keep going we don't need to fucking do this shit we don't need to do this shit it's fucking stupid it's sloppy it's fucking stupid causes so much unnecessary bullshit it's dumb Also, I saw this on Twitter very briefly before whatever. I don't even know the full extent of it, but from what I saw from the tweet, if you sent a fucking DM to Will because of a car that was sitting in his fucking driveway, bro the fuck up, you piece of shit. You are actually a child. Imagine sitting there and sending a DM to somebody. Oh, there's a car in your driveway. Are you fucking stupid? Or what? Are you dumb? You motherfucker? Holy fuck, that's so bad. Like, you should actually be embarrassed of yourself. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. You should actually be embarrassed of yourself. Because that's fucking horrible. That is child-ish. And a half. Like, that... That is fucked. That's fucked. That's actually fu- I saw that and I was I actually giggled, giggled to myself. I'm like, no way an actual adult human being did that shit. There's no chance. But apparently it did happen. And that's fucked. You should be embarrassed of yourself. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I, I will straight up say that any day of the week. You should thoroughly be embarrassed of yourself. If you start sending messages like that. That's fucked up. Mind your own fucking business, alright? We're fucking 23 years old. If he has somebody at his house, it's none of your fucking business. Like, what the fuck? Who do you think you are? What the fuck? Are you dumb? That's fucked. I just, I, I need to get that on my system because I saw that tonight and I'm like, that's actually fucked. That's actually fucked up. You're actually dumb if you think you have the right to sit there and start sending out DMs because a random car is sitting in the, like, you're fucking stupid. You are actually fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck. You're dumb. You suck as a human being. You suck as a human being. I don't care what your reasoning is for it, whatever. You suck as a human being. That's fucked. That is fucked. That violates so many... Pri- like, that's so fucked up. If somebody ever did that to my house, holy fuck, I would make a mission to find out who you were and dox you because I don't give a fuck. That is such a violation of privacy fuck off you're a piece of shit all right i got it out i'm done now but you're a piece of shit if you're watching fuck you you suck i don't even care I'll stand up, like, I'll face all the backlash I need to face for that. <coughs> I don't give a fuck. You're actually fucked up if you do that shit. Like, you're actually fucked up. And I, I, and I will stand by that statement until the day that I die. If you do that kind of shit, you're fucked up. You're sick.
No, there's no excuse for that. There really isn't. Like there, there, there is no legitimate excuse that you could send for that. That's that's just straight downright fucked up. That's just that's fucked up. Even if it like, and which I'm sure people could find out wherever, like whatever. <coughs> that is. <coughs> such a violation of privacy okay put yourself put yourself in in our shoes okay now imagine somebody pulling up in your driveway or whatever and sitting there and waiting for you to come outside or do whatever you got to do just like you know what i mean like that's fucked up think of it that way put yourself in their shoes okay because i feel like a lot of people don't do that and you just fail them like i'm not like i don't know but it's like like do you really think that's okay pulling up to somebody's house and sitting there and waiting for them to come out to approach them like i get you love them this and that but it's like <laughs> like i like what the fuck did your common sense go out the fucking window or what like what the fuck you really think sitting outside somebody's fucking house sitting there in their driveway or whatever whether it's a business property or not sitting there waiting for them, like do you not think that's a fucking issue? Do you not see the fucking problem with that? Are you crazy? That fucking snap. If I looked out my window and I saw that, I would immediately call 911. I don't give a fuck. I would immediately call 911 because that's a fucking privacy issue. That's a fucking issue. You need to fucking reconsider your thoughts there because that's fucked up. That's fucked up. You can't, you can't do that shit. You cannot do that shit. I don't give a fuck. There, you cannot do that shit. I don't care how much you love, whatever. You cannot do that kind of shit. That, that, that invades so much fucking privacy. It's not even funny. And it's like we, we, like, we notice it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like we might not always bring attention to it, but we notice that kind of shit. So it's like when you start doing that, like, fuck. Like, it makes you look silly. It does. It makes you look silly. I'm not even speaking on specific circumstances, okay? I'm just speaking in a general term because I know all of this shit has happened over the course of the last couple years. And it's just like, enough's enough. Like, stop this. Stop this shit, all right? It ha- like, it might not have happened for a little bit, but it's like, at the end of the day, it still happened numerous amounts of times and just stop. Just stop. There's a certain way to go about things, but creeping where somebody lives and stalking their location and doing whatever, that's not it. That's, that, 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 that's not the way to do it. I get you might like somebody, you might love them, you want to support them, but doing that kind of shit is not the way to do it and at the end of the day it's really only going to repel that creator or whatever to just not want to pay attention to you really at the end of the day like they're just they won't give a fuck because that's just fucked up just saying but my rant's over now okay nobody was stalking anybody i'm just saying as a general term because i've seen this on twitter the last couple nights whatever i've seen I've seen different shit being posted. And it's just like, fuck off, okay? Like, we're in our mid 20s now. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to be playing fucking telephone or whatever the fuck kind of game it is you think you're playing. Like, it's, it's just stupid. It's stupid, it's immature. There is absolutely no fucking rhyme or reason that a 22 or 23 year old or anything in that reign should be telling you how to think or how to act. It's just, it, it, it just, to me, it doesn't make sense. And I'm not like saying this on a general basis because I know on a very general term, it's not like that, but there are people who are like that. So it's like, I am going to say it. 
for the odd few that are like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, stop. Just stop. Okay? Just stop. We love you. Okay? We appreciate you. But you do not need to stalk us out or do whatever, to, like, to say, hey, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you just send a simple message, hey, we're in there, whatever, you know, like, maybe we will meet up with you and take a picture or whatever. But if you sit there and you stalk us out, we're going to have a very sour fucking reaction. I promise you, I will. I, I guarantee you, I will. If you ever approach me in that sense, I promise you, I'll have a very sour reaction. I can't guarantee you anybody else, but I promise you, my group of people, we will. 100%. So I'm just trying to say, at the end of the day, there's a time and a place for everything. We appreciate your support. We we love meeting you. Don't get me wrong. We fucking love meeting you. We love meeting you. But there's a time and a place to do it, okay? If you sit there... And I, like, personally, I've never had an issue with it, but I know, I know, I know Will has. If you sit outside of his house and you try and approach it in that manner, you're fucking done. Like, you're, you're a fucking, you're fucking, you're a loser. Honestly, at the end of the day, you're a loser. And I, I won't back down from saying that. I will literally, if you, if, if I ever was at Will's and you pulled up and you tried to get a picture and you were sitting there, I would straight up say no to your face and call you a fucking loser. Because I don't give a fuck, because you are. If you do that kind of shit, you're a fucking loser. Don't care. Don't care. Now, you approach it in a proper and appropriate kind of manner. We will be more than... We will love to take a picture with you or do whatever. You know what I mean? But you come up to us like a fucking degenerate. We'll treat you like one. We don't give a fuck, okay? And I can speak for Will in that sense too. He doesn't give a fuck. So, if there's something to take away from this, it's a time and a place for everything. If you want to come, if you see us out in public, just, just be civil. Be like, you know, be normal. Hey, like, you know, like, we don't bite. We're not scared. Like, we're, we're very welcoming. But you come up to us with a certain approach, you're going to get a certain response back. And that's just how it's going to be. So, I'm just saying, that's how it is. Please going forward if we are out and about or we're doing anything please respect us in a very appropriate manner or whatever because i promise you we will show you the same respect back but if you come up to us like a bunch of like like we're a piece of meat and you get a sour response honestly you fucking deserve it honestly at the end of the day you deserve it so that's just it. That's, that's my rant, all right? Just treat us like actual human beings. We have feelings, okay? We're still fucking growing as fucking teenage guys. Like, we're still early 20s. Like, fuck off. We're still early 20s. We're going to make so many mistakes. Just let us live. Let us make our mistakes. And just fuck off. Like, really. Like, just just let us make our mistakes. Like... Don't don't bombard us like like I said we we were we are more than willing to meet all of you in person and to connect with you but like I said there's a time and a place to do it Just be respectful. That's all I'm saying. Just be respectful. It'll make a difference. We will we will appreciate it. You'll get a hell of a lot further than if you just showed up. You know what I mean? Just be respectful. We're people too. We still have feelings. You know what I mean? So, I just needed to say that. It needed to be said. Yeah, well, <coughs> Will's got a much more difficult situation than I do. Like, when it comes down to reading comments or responding to comments, it's much more difficult for him to do that. 
for me it's definitely way easier to call out people on their bullshit and everything because it's like i see more of it and it's easier to see but don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i still let will know about certain people's bullshit you know what i mean if you're sitting there causing a ruckus i make sure it's fucking known all right so if you sit there and you think, oh, uh, uh, whatever, like, uh, don't, don't you worry, okay? We all fucking know about your little rat ass, okay? So, fuck off, and we know. We might not engage with everything, but we see a lot, all right? We see a lot. And like I said, like, I'm not calling out everybody, obviously. I'm not calling out everybody. But for the odd person here or there that happens to be in this live and they might think that way, like, don't do it. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. For the odd person, don't fucking do it. That's, that's just as plain and simple as I can put it. Just don't do it. And I could speak on so many people's behalf when it comes down to this. Like, it, 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 it's the most annoying thing. guys talk about us random goes ah. <laughs> what a fucker hey <sighs> yeah no i had to bring it up because it was like it's it's been grinding my gears for the last little bit and it's like fucking give us a break man like fuck we dedicate so much of our life being online holding our phone up and I get it's a personal choice whatever but it's like fuck a lot of these fucking judgments are so cruel so fucking cruel it's like imagine that was your daughter all right <laughs> imagine that was your daughter and you're saying that same fucking kind of bullshit about your daughter online yeah you probably that probably made your stomach fucking turn if it's one of you, you know what I mean? Like, imagine that kind of shit. Like, that's, it's so fucking silly. It's so fucking silly. Imagine somebody sitting there judging you on your life going through college or university. Holy fuck. Imagine that. Because I've heard the stories from my parents through university and holy fuck. It makes what we do look so fucking minuscule. So for you to sit there and judge what we do is fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's like, how do you even fucking get there? What? It doesn't even, it's not even on the same fucking level of some of the shit that used to go on. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, what the fuck? And you're sitting there fucking bitching at us for fucking breathing improper. Suck my fucking dick I'm done now. I'm done now. Je suis fini. (sighs) 
So, uh, how's the weather? Uh, it's actually great. I'm not even gonna lie. The weather's great. I'm feeling quite comfortable right now in my fucking sweater. I just can't believe I'm going up to a fucking room right now and Coon's out cold. What a fucking pussy. What a pussy. This guy's fucking snoozing so hard right now. And he was sitting there chirping me the whole night. Hey, oh, He's out cold. He's fucking snoozing, this guy. He has been for the last fucking hour. Fucker. I need to go. He'll be up at six. I, I know, he will be up at six. And that's what's fucked. Because you know what? I won't be up at six. I'm going to tell him to go eat a bag of dicks. Go we'll work out. Because I'm not fucking getting up. No chance. No fucking way. Are you nuts? Fuck that. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I'll wake up at like... I'll work out in the afternoon, you know what I mean? But like, in the fucking ass crack of the morning hours, fuck no. And that's where this guy fucking wakes up. It's fucked up. He doesn't even close the blinds either. He just leaves the blinds fucking wide open. Fucking sun staring right in your fucking face. It's bright as shit. It sucks. I'm gonna close those cocksuckers tonight before I go to bed. Fuck that. I'm gonna beat him at his own game before he even fucking gets up. Fuck that. That shit's crazy. That's fucking crazy. This guy doesn't even close the blinds. Sick fuck. What a sick fuck. Who doesn't close the blinds? Who goes to bed in the fucking absolute dawn of the morning? That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Oh, fuck it. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. Fucking crazy. Unique. <coughs> he, is, he is unique, yeah. We do need separate rooms. I agree. But that's more money, and I'm not about that. Fuck that. I'll just suffer. I'll just close the binds before I go to bed. Fuck them. You won't think about it. Fuck them. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. That one just slipped out the sail though. I have heavy curtains. In our bedroom, no light. Ooh, that sounds very nice. You need an eye mask? I do. And Jess, good night. Good night. Change the time on his alarm. <laughs> if I knew the passcode to his phone, I actually would, I swear to God. <laughs> I actually would. You need some Fanta Orange. I have some in my fucking gym bag, actually. And so you don't want us coming to Quebec to pop? <laughs> ah. You're so funny.
I did spend most of the day with you. You are correct. You are correct there, Christine. Who are, where are you and who are you with? Oh, I'm with Jay Kuhn and we're in Quebec. Quebec, we are in Quebec. Draw on his face, don't draw on my face. Oh man. Oh man. Nikki, I hope you enjoy Vegas. Have a great time. Is Josh still in here? Josh? Oh, he is. Where's Coon? He's fucking snoozing. gonna call it a night here we will be back tomorrow so stay tuned for that as always ladies and gentlemen a good night have a great day tomorrow and as always I love you, bye. Adios, senoritas and muchachos.